anyway, okay, so let's do Hans. Hans, as we all know, believes animals aren't real unless he sees them in person and not in a zoo, because he thinks zoo animals are people in suits or animatronics. So let's see some of his new evidence. Hans Wormhat, I just want to show this clip from a children's show and also another clip that somebody sent to me. Gorillas are a huge deception. Just the great apes are all fursuits and they're actors in fursuits. Check this out. Excuse me, ma'am. It's making me anxious. Please stop. I can feel it. Hello? Jonathan, this is not a good time. Angelica's having a bad meeting. Um, Mrs. Pickles. I always thought gorillas are fake. Yeah. Felix Night Owl says, Hannah, you're an, um, great person. Nah. What do you mean they won't let us have the gorilla? Oh. Has he never witnessed a live gorilla? He thinks gorillas are people in suits. Have I been doing this? Has it been so long since I've covered Hans' shit that people don't, are in my chat and don't know about Hans? Hans believes gorillas are people in suits. <laughs> he, doesn't he think, like, the only animal that's real is, like, squirrels? Squirrels are on the list of real animals because he sees squirrels day to day in his everyday life. Not in a zoo. Narnandia Owl says, at this point, it would be easier if Hans made a video about animals he actually considers real. Yeah. He doesn't believe in kangaroos. He doesn't believe in koalas. Of course we take good care of it. You're getting a gorilla? I lived with them in Africa for three years. <sighs> so we got the three, the unnecessary three, too. Having but a bad You saw the hand signs, right? There were two hand signs. Oh, what do you mean they won't let us have the gorilla? Of course we... <laughs> right when they say gorilla, look at those hand signs, the triad claw. That's some extreme attention to detail to an animated character's hand positions. You take good care of it. You're getting a gorilla? I lived with them in Africa. And then, of course, the devil horns when this... <laughs> Spurious symbology is evidence. The person is saying that they lived with the gorillas in Africa for three years. They hold double devil horns up. And cartoons are just a huge example of people throwing hand signs left and right and especially back in blackwing hackety says wait this is actually part of the video i thought someone had sent this to you as part of a joke no rugrats is clearly part of the conspiracy <laughs> in the day when cartoons had to be drawn by hand and each frame they would actually draw it well they spent a lot of time focusing on what the hands of these characters would do and I think this is part of how people learn Hi, what Drake. the different signs mean. I think that it's a big thing when, when you're talking about a satanic deception, throwing up your devil horns. And I've seen people do this in day-to-day -day stuff. For example, my brother will... Yeah, they're just fucking around. This like means like, rock on! Woo! Oh, this feels good with the tassel -y arms? Yes, the tassels make this a million times better. Oh my god, I need to start wearing tassels so I can casually do this all the time. It feels so right. Woo! <laughs> Just means like rock on. I don't know. Uh, Narnandia Owl says, Real life stuff is faked with fursuits and CGI, but cartoons tell the truth. Sure thing. I'll be reciting some story, and I look at his hands, and they're positioned showing off devil horns. And it's like, why, why are you holding your hands like that as you tell a story? I mean, at that point, I just stopped listening to them and yeah, whatever. But yeah, you're surrounded by, by people that speak with their hand signs. And it's talking about gorillas. Now, some gesticulating is the work of the devil, as we all know. Stephen J. Excuse me, Stephen J. Neptune Man says, wait, this video and the barcode videos aren't parody? No, unfortunately. Somebody sent me this, and it's because how silly they look. You can tell that they're actors in fursuits. When you know the secret, it's like knowing the magician's secret. It's more obvious. <laughs> yeah, when you speed up footage of animals, it looks unnatural. Because you sped up the footage to make them look weird. 
Blackwing Hecate says, people who speak with their hand signs, aka Italians. Today I learned, I am Italian. Fuck Chris Pratt. Hire me to play Mario. It's a me. A Mario. <laughs> That's a bad one. Okay, those noises were pretty annoying, but I'll play it one more time. Just dropped in, are we doing Hans? You see gorillas on screen, so yes, we're doing Hans. <laughs> okay, and very well... Yeah, I don't know if you know this, Hans, but, um... Chimpanzees, bonobos, our closest relatives aren't bipedal. At least, you know, they haven't evolved to be bipedal. So when they try and walk on two legs, it looks funny and waddly because their anatomy isn't really built for bipedal motion. It's built for quadrupedal walking with your arms on the ground. So if they do get up on two legs, which quadrupedal animals can do. I'm sure some of you have seen videos of cats doing it occasionally. Um, it's like a weird thing. It's not necessarily physically impossible, especially for something like a chimpanzee, but it's unnatural, or a gorilla, or whatever. It, 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 it's uncomfortable and is not the most graceful thing in the universe. <laughs> um, didn't he just play it three times? He did. X-Files theme plays. <laughs> do, 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 do. Trained because they're actors inside of fursuits. They have that little entrance door, exit door that they're always going to be coming in and out of at the right time. And they never try to escape. And they're always putting on a show because they're actors. Tourism. Our prized tourism gem. The gorillas. Uh, I liked this. Have have since March been reproducing as if they have a timeline to adhere to. Yeah, they do have timelines to adhere to. These are just fursuits and the baby. If any furries want a job at your local zoo, apparently Hans believes if you're a furry, you can just go get a job being a ape all day, which is basically what I spend all my time doing anyway. So, brush off the resume, and I guess, uh, Get out there. Good luck. Ice Queen says, I'm accused, I'd accuse Hans of getting this from Jamie Johnson's video, quote, playing the part where there's a dude in a gorilla suit thoroughly or throughout, and it turns out it's Matthew McConaughey in the suit. It's a great video if you like actual non-pop country. Check it out if you haven't seen it. All right. Um, Logarth says, as a furry, no. Blackwing Hecate says, can I get a job being a hilariously massive red panda? Yeah, sure. We'll just, we'll put you far away from the, the window that they look through. Felix Night Owl says, they lack the inline big toe. Humans got that when they moved to the savannas. No need to climb trees and the need to run faster across a flat plain made our toe go in line. Isn't evolution fun? Yeah. Babies are just really realistic looking puppets little where do you get your ape application um you can pick up your ape location at your local zoo okay you know those those baby dolls that they sell that are really realistic looking and they'll even go out of their way to put heating elements and uh, a little breathing mechanism into these lifelike baby dolls it's the same thing with the baby gorillas it's just a lifelike little animatronic doll that they mostly just attach they're just physically attached to the to the fursuit. If you handed Hans Wormhat a ape baby, how would he justify that, do you think? If you said to this man, you can do whatever you want to investigate this ape baby, and you hand him the ape baby, and he tears this living, breathing animal baby apart, do you think at any point he would realize he was wrong, or would he just be like, wow, this is a really good and bloody animatronic. They made this thing look just like a real living thing. Stone Corbell says, if you haven't said uh, application, I would have. Anyways, the what I want to talk about... 
Uh, Morok says, uh-huh, actors, and then there's a link. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Gray Dutch, thanks for 18 months, says our second baby. It is an ape baby. Then this baby's okay. name is Zira. One word. Like Madonna. Zira. About here is how they're fake animals. They're me How does he know or how he found out squirrels are real? Wait, is that how he found out squirrels are real? No, it's because he sees squirrels outside in the environment every day. He sees them, like, in his yard and stuff, so he thinks they're real. Media sensation animals will always be present in the media around these hoaxes. I always refer back to the Australian wildfires. If you paid attention to the media, you would think that the only animal that's being affected by the wildfires are the koalas. It's like, do, do any other animals live in Australia besides the koala? Okay, the environment of the koala bear is the eucalyptus tree. And I don't just mean the forest. I mean specifically the eucalyptus trees themselves. They spend most of their time in the trees. They're slow. They can't really get around easily. So other animals, let's say a kangaroo, if we're going for stereotypically Australian animals, which I don't even know if they're in the region that the fires were having. I don't know, that kind of thing. Kangaroos can fuck off rather quickly. They can, you know, bounce away. Koalas can't. Koalas are basically stuck wherever they are. So if a fire goes through an area... With koalas, all those koalas are dead. Koalas are idiots. So that's why they got coverage, would be my guess. Um, Narnia, uh, nope, read that one, sorry. Um, Blackwing Hecate says, Has someone explained the concept of a mating season to this grown-ass human? <laughs> Speak the truth, says Q Spongebob mean. Ah, a real gorilla. Princess Amelia says, If Hans thinks crows are people in suits too, then I have a question. Many questions. Important questions. <laughs> Blackwing Hackety says, Kangaroos aren't evolutionarily, aren't evolutionary dead ends that eat something that gives them no nutrition. <laughs> Koalas are doing their best, okay? Fecal pap is their best. For those who don't know, koalas eat eucalyptus leaves but they are so stupid that if you take a eucalyptus leaf off of the tree they no longer recognize it as food and baby koalas can't eat full eucalyptus because it's poison so instead they have to eat what's called peak fecal pap which is basically pseudo shit that their uh parent poops out and they eat partially digested eucalyptus shit basically anyway um mike max says so i haven't hasn't uh he traveled to africa yet i mean eh, probably expense <laughs> and he has no interest he doesn't think animals are real so koala that's supposed to be endangered i mean i'm sure that's why they would tell you oh well that's the media story because they're this endangered animal but you never see stories about talking about how the fires are killing all the squirrels or whatever. I'm not familiar with Australian wildlife. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Blackwing Hecate says, also, uh, Africa has brown people. I don't know if Hans is racist. I don't know. Uh, because all we get is the B. Squirrels can run away. True. Yes, we just, all they talk about is koalas. And, of course, can He's very obsessed with squirrels. I don't know why. It's just the only animal he thinks is real. Probably a Lannister says, but what is the actual endgame of the governments of the world lying to us about animals? I don't know. He's also a flat earther, so... They're just evil. Morak says, I have an Australian friend who is obsessed with squirrels because they don't live there. <laughs> kangaroos i saw a few kangaroo stories here and there for the wildfires but nine times out of ten it was some plushy 
really obvious plushy koala and some sob story. And now with this, with the, the virus story of this year, I've seen so many stories about orangutans, chimpanzees, and gorillas. You don't see stories about squirrels potentially getting it or skunks potentially getting it. They had that story about the pangolins. Do you understand? Again, I don't know anything about like other apes being susceptible to COVID. I really don't. But like, they're our closest relatives in terms of non-human animals. If any animal is going to be susceptible to a human disease, it's probably going to be apes. Um, Ice Queen says, okay, my friends, I have to wander to eat and do other things. Everyone have a great whatever it is for you where you see, hear this. Live long and prosper, peace and long life. Blackwing, Blackwing Hecate says, this makes me miss my childhood toy that was a stuffed koala and I lost by leaving him on a bus. Miss you, Teddy. Oh, hats off. I'm going to reject that just because it's tinfoil day, so I'm already wearing so much stuff. Save that for a day that is not tinfoil Tuesday. And uh, that's another fake media animal. So they just love to get their fake animals in it. Hydrate. I didn't check, but I bet there's some panda stories. I bet there's some panda corona stories out there. But anyways, history has it. that the it, Totally an appeal to history. You'll see this sometimes where instead of telling you that something is fact, they'll say like this, it'll be like an appeal to history. Well, history has it that the first European to track gorillas in Africa, his story, a French man called Paul Baloney. It's a bunch of baloney. Uh, this was before the scramble for Africa. Who in his right? So not even how you spell baloney. Um, Hans, they say history has it at the beginning because they're talking about a historical event. Guy come up fallen and says, Speaking of squirrels that keep trying to eat my jack o' lantern every Halloween before I can carve them, it's pissing me off. I'm sorry. Don't leave your their food outside. They're gonna eat the pumpkins. D with Goblin says, Also during the 2019 bushfires, we lost about a billion wild animals. Koalas get the publicity because they're cute and cuddly. We lost a lot of frogs, reptiles, birds, and mammals that were crucial to the ecosystem. There won't be any more major bushfires for a while because there's nothing left to burn, thus justifying cutting funds to sustainable ecology projects and local firefighters. Please pass the vodka. Uh, the next couple hundred years are going to be interesting for the people who have to live it. Logarth says, Iowa deer have been found with a zoonotic form of COVID, so can't wait for those mutations. Yay. Uh, Blackwing Hecate says, I don't think um, your signs are susceptible to COVID. Your signs. Thank you. Writing paints a picture of the primate in a hilly landscape and thick vegetation. Okay. And old depictions of gorillas clearly look different because it's just a fake animal and people <laughs> they drew them from memory you dumb asshole <laughs> do you think they stood there and were like yes i will get the essence of this gorilla they either saw it and then drew it later or literally had to listen to people who had seen them and just off of their description draw it um blackwing hackety says fancy word for bears gotcha People have always been making up stories. Oh, I went to Africa and I saw this furry human beast in the woods. People have always been making up stories. It's just that nowadays they have much more tech that they can use to deceive people. Back in the day, all you could do is, is write a book about it and maybe draw a picture or two to try to convince people of your crazy stories. Come up with a taxidermy hoax like the platypus. <laughs> but this is what people do. Think about people that lie about the size of fish that they catch. These types of people have always existed. And they go to Africa. Half of them probably never even go to Africa. They just hide out in the city for a month. Put on a fake disguise and pretend to be another person for a month. And then, oh, they, they came back and, you know, work on a few paper mache art projects in, in your house discreetly. And then come back and say that... You left to distant lands and tell people all the things that you saw. 
Colonial imperialism didn't happen because Hans doesn't think gorillas don't exist. Or because Hans thinks gorillas don't exist. Narnandia Owl says if he knew anything about the early photograph or photography, he'd understand taking pictures of anything doesn't stand completely still was pretty much impossible to Yep. You draw a picture like this. My first gorilla. Anyways, looks like Bigfoot, right? This could have easily been Buindi, impenetrable forest in southwestern Uganda, 331 kilometers away. And the writing, they so often use childish sexual imagery. It is endowed. Who uses... Does he believe Africa actually exists? I believe so, yes. The word endowed in a situation like this. It is endowed. Does he believe Bigfoot exists? That's a good question. I don't remember. Endowed with half the world surviving mountain gorillas. There's no such thing as mountain gorillas. They are actors in fursuits. That's why you can go to these places and go on a nature walk and see gorillas every time. Because it's an act. You're watching gorilla actors every time. Everybody who goes and buys a little ticket to go see the gorillas, guess what? You're going to see the gorillas. Because they're fursuits. And high up Illuminati people, they know it's all a show. But they love to shell out the money to go be a part of it and to take some duping delight. Speak the Truth 16 says, Do you think that the idea of a Bigfoot came from the fact that most continents have some form of primates? I don't know enough about Bigfoot or Sasquatch myths to even make a hypothesis. I really don't know what Bigfoot believers think. I haven't seen a ton of material on it, so I don't know. Light pictures and show it to unsuspecting people. Keep hands off the little bundles. Do not eat and... Uh, Blackwing Hackety with 30 bits says, Does this... Does he believe Bigfoot is Cain and, of a, and Abel fame? I, why do you say that? In their presence because you're Hot Dog. Hot Dog is 33, somebody's told me. I have yet to check it out for myself, but I'm going to put that out there. Burger or Rolex might be grabbed. Some cannot resist the urge to taste your bottle of Ugandi Waragi, which I'm guessing is some sort of alcoholic beverage, or mineral water. Or what about smoking cigs? There are so many videos of, of these actors in fursuits smoking cigs through their fursuit. And if you go look at the third world... I'm pretty sure based on how much fursuits cost, if someone was wearing a fursuit, they would not be smoking in it. <laughs> uh, Blackwing Hecate says Mormons believe that. Oh, God. Zoos, it's like way worse, way worse quality fursuits. I've looked at some footage of Indian chimpanzees, and they look so run down, and I can see a huge seam up the back of the costume, and... Their spine? <laughs> they look mangy. Wild animals looking mangy? That's insanity. Get that fake shit out of here. Uh, and they're campier. They, they do stuff like smoke cigarettes and things at the third world zoos. After the one hour spent in the company of gorillas that are usually seen in movies or documentaries... What does he think are like the... I guess he thinks animatronics. I was going to say, because they're like... Uh, we're not talking about apes at this point, but like monkeys. They're monkeys that are tiny, you know, that do monkey stuff. Logarth says, as a furry, yes, people smoke in fursuits all the time. Hotboxing a fursuit head is a thing I've done several times. See, that seems like it would stink up the suit. Do you get the mocking Hydrate. Here? A tracker takes home a certificate. Oh, you get a certificate. I saw a certified gorilla. Man, uh, the bad news. During the pandemic, sadly, a silverback called Rafik was killed in Buindi by a poacher. All of these poacher stories are just sob stories to get you to emotionally connect to a fursuit. The poacher was tried and is serving a 10-year. I bet you these people just don't even exist. They just come up with these fake, just a fake person. The first is the Waterfall Trail. Which Tea with climaxed... Goblins says, on the subject of Bigfoot, I thought, I bought this shirt last year, money wisely spent, queer for cryptids. That's a pretty good shirt. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I could get it. Ooh. Okay, maybe I'll get that later. <laughs> is more of that language uh, earlier it was something being endowed now we have waterfall trails climaxing at a 33 meter how many people in the comments actually believe him most of hans's audience believes him waterfall 
Blackwing Hackity says, this is serious. How can we see our eyes if they aren't real energy? Yep. It just... They are taking the piss. It leaves many perspiring with labored breathing. Are you kidding me? Is this real life right now? Do you see that you are being mocked by a bunch of children that or liars, part of an Orange 33 Club. I love this too. The The whole thing ended with, when shooting images, keep the flash off. Please, no flash photography. <laughs> Something about- Yes, because they don't want you to scare the gorillas with the flash. About that just- uh... That's pretty common for any animal ever. If you're taking photography of them, you want to be careful with that kind of stuff. It was really funny. Primatologists work to keep great apes safe from whatever, you know, the thing. And it's, like I mentioned earlier, they're never going to run stories about real animals. Oh, what about the deer population with all these wildfires? No, they're going to talk endlessly about... There aren't deer, at least not the kind of deer we have in North America in Australia. I don't know if there's any kind of deer in Australia. I have no idea. But if there are, deer can get away better than koalas. Koalas and pandas. What What about other... I mean, I, I see the connection here. What size t-shirt do I wear? 2X or just 1X? Because the whole... The big reason that they came up with this great ape lie is to... There's non-native deer there? Push evolution and to make people think that evolution is real and then that humans came... Kangaroos are deer adjacent. In my head, kangaroos are Australian deer, basically. I know they're not, but that's how I think of them in my head. In the same kind of nuisance where, like, you're afraid you're going to hit them when you're driving in the dark in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know. Came from a monkey. That's why this deception exists. And so they try to tell us that these are closer to humans. So it's like I, I get why there would be more... Uh, news stories about these things possibly getting the virus, but you get what I'm what I'm trying to say that the media is just filled with the fake media animals. And how often do you see media stories about deers or squirrels or real life things? And yet there's endless endless media productions about all the fake apes and. <sighs> Deer aren't endangered. Squirrels aren't in danger. Dread Pirate Mick, thanks for 100 bits, says, We do have deer. They're introduced and considered a pest species. Okay. And sloths and platypus and panda and... He only seems to believe in animals he's seen in person. Specifically, he has to see them in person, not in confinement. Because he's been to zoos. He has seen gorillas, to my knowledge. He just thinks they're people in suits. So if you present him an animal in more or less its natural habitat or roaming around a neighborhood, he believes that animal's real. If you present him an animal in a cage, he believes that animal is fake. Yes, he used deers as a plural. If you haven't watched it, I have a video on top 10 fake animals, so maybe that's a good place to start. This hoax could threaten endangered great apes, scientists warn. They'll just be endless with the propaganda and pay attention to the signs and the symbols. The devil is in the detail. That's because satanic people, they hide their communications in the details. That's why it's the devil is in the detail. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless everyone. <laughs> Chimbers the squirrel with 100 bits says, wait, so all those videos of gorillas eating or throwing their own poop, he doesn't think. Oh yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he thinks it's special effects. <sighs> yeah, Hans is um, an interesting fella, to say the least. So that's what he's been up to.